I have been buying hair extensions for over 10 years now and I've collected a lot of hair and a lot of knowledge about what to look for when buying hair extensions. So today I'm gonna break it all down for you. Bang time. When buying hair extensions, the first thing you're gonna wanna look at is making sure you're buying Remy hair. This means when the extension was being built, each individual strand was specifically placed to be facing down rather than the cuticle at the bottom. If you're gonna make the investment, make sure you're buying Remy hair. Another really important thing to look for when buying hair extensions is what the clips look like. You're gonna be wearing these probably all day and night. <laughs> Party time. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have a comfortable fit. I prefer a silicone rubber band because it bonds each hair together and there's not as much pull from the clips. I really like this kind of hair extension. They are human hair. You can color them, dye them, perm them, but they do get damaged just the same. The only difference is these don't have the oils in your scalp to re-moisturize them, so they get dry a lot quicker. I'll show you these extensions. These are a little bit older. I honestly, I think I wore these in high school. The hairs are extremely damaged and uneven because of breakage. I'm gonna show you how to install these for a seamless look that no one will ever notice. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is section off your hair just like you would when you're straightening it. I'm gonna be using the end of my brush right about here, halfway down my ear, and I'm just gonna follow this brush all the way through. Does that look like a straight line? Okay, once this part is sectioned off, I start with the three clip weft, like this one, to go straight on the bottom because I know when I put it to my head, it fits perfectly. Before you install, take your teasing comb and you're gonna tease the top of it. Bring this piece of hair around. I'm holding on to the middle clasp and I just hook the middle in first and clip it down. Then I go into the side Make sure it's being connected to a piece that has been teased. This is what it looks like when it's clipped in. And I'm just gonna keep doing that. Now we have three clips in. As you can see, it's giving me a lot of length at the bottom, but it's not giving me enough volume at the top. You definitely wanna continue to clip hair extensions all the way up, almost to your part, to give the most natural look. And do you see how close I'm putting this to my face? Having this long hair really close to your face really sells the idea that it's your own hair. And since it's right beside my face, I'm gonna straighten that out so it matches my hair texture that is going to be covering it. So this is what it looks like with all wefts installed. I can like shake it around to kind of give a little shake. Nothing is falling out. We can all go home. Everyone, my hair is in. We're good. If you like this video and you want to see more, be sure to hit the subscribe button below. We're going to be releasing a new beauty video every week. It's like the new hanging plant. It's a DIY. Hanging macrame hair plant.